Hi, I'm Kendall Bowman with Duke Energy. So I think you need to start with clear policy goals at the state level to help you transition. I also think it can be bolstered by regulatory support and support from the businesses in the communities and the customers in the communities. Yeah. Hi, my name is Paul Newton and I represent Cabarrus County and a little bit of Union County and I'm uh, proud to represent them and certainly North Carolina by extension. So that's a great question, and the energy economy I would define as our entire economy. Our entire economy runs on energy, needs energy to be successful, and so we're, as we're transitioning to a lower carbon future, we designed 951, uh, the law associated with that, around two fundamental pillars. One is it's got to be done at least cost, and second, it's got to be done without jeopardizing the reliability of our grid. And if we can accomplish that, and I believe we can, and I think that as long as we do a good job reducing carbon at least cost and keeping the grid reliable, not only will existing uh, uh, job creators, people that retain jobs, uh, employ people, not only will they remain strong, but we will attract new job creator creators as well. And that's, uh, again, I think of the energy economy as everyone who's here, you and I in included, we depend on low-cost, reliable electricity.